After 2022, the tech industry is bruised, battered, and bleeding out. Although unemployment levels remain low, nearly every major technology company has disclosed double-digit percentage point cutbacks and underwent massive rounds of layoffs in recent months, Elon Musk being the most guilty CEO of them all. Many of these companies' stock prices have also dropped by more than 25%, all the way up to 70% in the past year. Looking at you, Twitter, and Meta. So, what exactly is going on in the big tech sector? And why are advertisers suddenly avoiding these companies? Will the industry continue to see layoffs and value reductions in 2023? Stay tuned till the end of this video to learn more about this global dilemma and why Elon Musk is behind the collapse of the big tech industry. Many analysts say that the inflation rate could be one of the most fundamental reasons for the entire collapse of the big tech industry. Following the Great Recession, the economy was weak, with low consumer spending and low interest rates. This produced the ideal conditions for a period of limitless wealth, which venture investors rushed into low marginal cost tech firms in search of high profit margins. The app boom took off as cell phone usage increased around the globe. Consumer tech firms have become some of the world's wealthiest and fastest growing players. Hollywood became online, media went digital, and cell phones enabled access to the services market. Then came the post-pandemic price spike. Higher interest rates have signaled the demise of easy credit. As the risk costs have risen, so is venture capital, and businesses were forced to cut expenses and raise prices. Meanwhile, the market narrative has shifted, and tech company valuations dramatically plummeted. As we can see, various things have had an impact on the sector. These include worldwide economic pressures brought on by the Ukraine conflict, which has pushed up the prices of gasoline and products, resulting in a cost-of-living problem worldwide. Rising expenses unavoidably have a direct impact on businesses, as the operating costs rise and customers' purchasing power slumps. According to research, there has been a significant decrease in online advertising revenues, particularly on social media which is generating problems for internet behemoths like Twitter, Meta, and Google. Although Twitter is facing plenty of other problems because of Elon Musk. The whole scenario is also a result of the recent lockdown and pandemic. During the peak of COVID-19, people lived online, and big tech corporations saw tremendous growth, making them one of the very few sectors to benefit from the lockdown. To meet online consumer demand during the pandemic, these companies upped their hiring, Investors flocked to get a piece of the action as well. However, when the economy returned to normalcy, the big tech firms apparently took a hit. Obviously, the inflation rate is not the only issue causing the big tech crisis. Other experts offer a more dramatic explanation. The tech industry is currently going through a midlife crisis. Midlife crisis? In the tech industry? Is that even a thing? Well, let's try to dissect it all even further. Ben Evans, a technology analyst, stated that the tech sector had climbed the mountain of advertising and communication and interconnected the world, and it was looking to reach new peaks and face new challenges. One narrative was coming to an end, and the most powerful tech executives and entrepreneurs were looking for the next phase. Over the years, executives at the world's leading technology companies have been diverting resources toward new endeavors with dubious returns. Meanwhile, the venture capital industry has been hunting for its own objective, and many capitalists have found one in cryptocurrency. The venture capital industry has reportedly committed billions of dollars to the crypto field, despite the fact that it largely remains a platform in need of a use case other than gambling on tokens that pay out in dollars. Meanwhile, Elon Musk has positioned himself at the head of a virtual delivery mechanism for media outrage. Twitter, with a haphazard strategy for revitalizing the company in what appears to be an actual midlife crisis. And through this midlife crisis, he has managed to send advertisers running for the hills, far, far away from Twitter and his $42 billion investment. His repeated requests for funding and continuous loss of said funding have led to another unfortunate notch on the belt of big tech losses in 2022. It would be inaccurate to say that all of these changes are the psychological equivalent of a man in his 50s trading in his minibus for a Corvette. However, many of these wages appear to be half-baked, prohibitively expensive, and plain bogus at the time. These theories intersect. The tech sector, which had conquered the art of tailoring digital environments for engagement and advertising networks, was ready to make a significant investment in the following story. 
Unfortunately, it has been hit by post-pandemic inflation and high interest rates, making the move more difficult to accomplish. As a result, companies that seemed invincible just a few years ago are now facing major layoffs. Technology stocks may be able to recover from their decline. However, the sector will not reach its previous highs and will be hampered by a lack of liquidity. While several tech titans have apologized to shareholders for their weak stock performance, there isn't much they can do in the new year to improve their prospects. After falling 27% last year, the Nasdaq is predicted to make a small recovery in 2023. Nonetheless, the tech sector is unlikely to restore its 2021 position. Even if the company recovers and the Fed decides to let up on its hardline monetary policy, the tech sector faces significant challenges. The success of tech could spark a new bull market, but it would be a mistake to think that technology would continue to fly to new heights. It has just become highly overpriced, and there is an exaggerated feeling of comfort and confidence as these equities continue to push the market upward. The kind of naive optimism that propelled technology to absurd levels during the pandemic has left the industry exposed to a multitude of setbacks. There has been a type of innovative stagnation in the sector, as well as several major flaws. This is also reflected in investors' dissatisfaction with CEOs such as Mark Zuckerberg, whose metaverse concept has been heavily condemned. And we already know that Elon Musk is also feeling the pressure. As Tesla investors are skeptical of his ability to lead both the EV company and Twitter. Essentially, a reality check is taking place in the big tech sector. The market is currently stalled, and it appears to be a long way from reaching prior highs. Whatever happens in the future, the crisis may be exactly what the big tech sector needs. Following years of unstoppable expansion and privileges, this crisis may actually be an opportunity for the sector to return to innovation and make more room for something new and incredible. And the growth of artificial intelligence systems hints that something remarkable, if not frightening, is on the way. And if you want to learn more about the newest innovation in artificial intelligence, click the thumbnail on the screen and check out our video on ChatGPT.